it will be facing a lot of problems. As I mentioned, if you have a computer screen, if you have a monitor, if you are working on a monitor for a longer time without hand rest, okay, your hand, okay, wrist or shoulders will be tired for a long time if you are working. And after some time, there are some type of diseases called carpal tunnel syndrome. The CD is carpal, CT is carpal, carpal tunnel syndrome in which your nerve will damage. Okay, if it is become severe, it, the nerve, the sensing capability of your uh, the hand or any part of the body sometime, most of the time it will be in the tip of fingertips. Sensing capability will reduce or there are a lot of pain that you feel after all some actions or moving your fingers and all. So like that, a lot of problems will occur if you are working as a, a computer programmer or say IT professional, you working into your field, IT field. Okay, you have to take a proper break in between. Okay, one or two hours you have to at least stand up and have some physical exercise, small exercise or teaching and all. Okay, like that you have to do and also these are the physical things that a human being can do to recover from such kind of uh, physical damages or problems that we have. And, uh, and from the side of inventors or developers, they will also follow some standard policies in which how these components or individual you know, devices are created or generated or more, uh, developed. Okay, they will follow some policies that make more ergonomic friendly, okay, user friendly devices. Maybe that will reduce the problems that we have the after effect of this usage. OK, like that, this kind of device or keyboard or mouse, when you can find, you can search out for what is, what is ergonomic keyboard. The, there are most of the time the new devices coming up with the provision called ergonomic style keyboard, ergonomic style uh, mouses. OK, that's ki that kind of devices will be more suitable for working. Then a lot, lot of uh, uh, different uh, facilities are there. Then <coughs> keyboard is one, of, one type of fundamental device with lot of keys and lot of functionalities can be provided. Then we come across pointing devices like mouse and track wall. We already covered that using keys in a mouse. We can grab from area in a screen, computer screen. Okay, by mouse click, left click, right click. Okay, etc. So there are now we are using most of the time optical mouses so in which light will sense the area. Okay, the moment of mouse at the time of moment the, there is a light source inside the circuit that is available inside the mouse that grab the area that we are moving in the uh, mouse part or the so which kind of object we are placing that mouse over. When we move that, the signals or the light ray will reflect back and that sends the moment. There are some moment sensors also that will grab the screen. The, the icon, the, the cursor will be placed into the area associated with whenever we use, click a particular area. There are some, there are some most of the time, the GUI supported operating system like Windows and all will be having a lot of buttons and a lot of navigation aids and all. We can click over it and there are a lot of menus and menu items that you can click and perform some operation. OK, like that. That's the main use of point in devices like a mouse track wall, etc. Then we have now a lot of touching friendly surfaces, touching interfaces, touch part in laptop, then graphical tablets. OK, then smartphones all are having the ability of touch input and touch output. OK, most of the time then there are some special way to interact with screen and all. So I'm not going into deep, the already covered. So in today's class, we are moving into the working principles of uh, scan aids. OK, how scan scanner performs scanning. I have loaded already approved on PPT in your team. If you have come across that, you will get some idea. OK, at the time also we have to look into digital camera. OK, the working principle of digital cameras and introduction about that. So today's lecture will be based on the digital camera and uh, the scan aids, the, flat, uh, the type of scanner that is commonly used is flatbed scan aids. Those, those type of scan aids, how they are working, we are moving into that.
this type of fly, scanner, flat bus scanners in which he can place documents or papers, okay, a newspaper or any small certificates can be placed or inside this and it will be scanned and make it as a digital copy. Okay, and that will be stored in your computer as a digital format. And so I will going into that PPTs. First of all, we can look into digital camera. Okay, so we are looking into digital camera. So starting from the small history of that. Okay, we already know there are a lot of. Uh, this is not an easy task. Like nowadays, we will be having a small handheld device with a camera, high quality camera. This is not the time in which it was introduced in late periods. Okay, 19 and or 80, 26. This is one of the first image. Okay, to cut the time when first cameras are involved in the period. Okay, and it took at least eight hours for exposure to take that capture or capture that screen. Okay, so capture that uh, environment into a chemical uh, film. We already know there are at the time of uh, invention and all or till 90s, 1990s and all. The cameras are not digital at that time. We you we need to use a film for grabbing that uh, capture area or capture surrounding capture in the environment in which we are capturing the surroundings using a camera. We can capture something from the surrounding and we can make it as a hard copy. So those photographs at the time is uh, taking a photogram is a tedious process at that time. It, at, at the time of that invented time that France 1918 it took eight hours to grab this uh, this object he, he using that camera analog camera at that time they were using so there will be chemical compound that is like storing some information into a particular chemical compound and this is called a magnetic type of material and it will be coated with some silicon element okay that silicon element will store the information and in order to store that in their screen that that small image that we know this image is not that much called clear okay at the time in order to store this in, in image into a film that itself took eight hours we can think that how much we are achieved till now okay with oh, 150 years okay more than that, we are having a lot of achievements. After that, in 2020, we will be having a cameras. Now, when you look into different sites, the e-commercial sites, you can buy. There are various type of cam DSLR, DSLR and all type of cameras. And when we will be having a smartphone with a lot of 48 megapixel camera and multiple lens, multiple uh, millimeter of uh, lens size can be available and in order to grab a uh, capture or capture an object just click a single click within a single click it will capture within millisecond of time or second of time it will capture the image into your digital cameras so that was not the time at the time of invention of this type of traditional photographic tools and in order to oper operate and all we require some expertise we need to place we need to actually focus on it the object and we need to place actual lighting sources and all it will took some more professional expertise at the time now even small child can take photographs without learning about without having any idea about just click it will automatically sense the object auto sensing auto focusing also lot of op options are away auto lighting etc will be the with, with the evolution of the ai type of cameras okay so then we can move into the actual how the image is formed in your naked eye human being side we can say human being size one of the high quality camera available as a 
goes if we can say like that okay so everyone will be ha having that idea then how a image is formed in your okay so when a object if there is no light we cannot grab anything we cannot see anything right we need light source okay that light source will hit the object and that light will be coming back to your eye from normally the uh, global light source is called sun at the time of uh, morning and all it can grab we, we are lively watching everything with the this kind of uh, light source okay can be any type of light source or any type of uh, light if there is a light present the light rays will hit the target we are viewing or the object you are viewing and that will be reflected back to your eye and your eye will be consisting of this number of lens one lens okay and there are a lot of additional things there are there are specialized cells in biological terms there are cells that will detect light and and actually the digital camera is trying to map that working principle of human beings the human eye okay the human not human eye the biological nature of that the hidden biological nature of the eye of a then we can i am not go, going into depth just there are images formed like this then this focusing into a particular screen there will be a um, this type of thing will be there so the retinas are there retina the lens will as the light is having more power or my more intensity the lens will get narrower to only accommodate small the em efficient amount of light into the uh, retina or this computer lens will be navigating and there are something a lot of things lot of muscles and all involved in that action we don't need to tell the com cover high where to compress your lens or where to enlarge your lens that is automatically done by our brain that is connected to brain but in, in case of uh, digital camera we need to program okay we need to program that and in that case that will be there logical boards and circuitry will be there in a digital camera for making that kind of decisions and all there we already preloaded with instruction set in that there are some chips that will do that for us how to make uh, arrangement for making uh, auto focusing on auto okay lightening etc and this is one of the example of a screen in which a image formation in pinhole cameras in the lo la la long while we are using that so actually our intention is to look into morally we want to look into the digital camera the principle of digital camera so other the other those things you just go through it the aperture is one of the important thing the diameter of the hole or opening the aperture is one of the important thing like we said when light is coming with a bright light will be having diameter that, that will be narrower the, the intensity of the light is more than okay more than it will be 1.5 millimeter okay that means we totally accommodate some portion of the light bright light if more light is coming it will also make some problem in your image formation we only require a set average light for good focusing and all good image formation and all so at that time it will be get narrower in size if a average light intensity comes into your it will be 3 to 4 mm diameter and we is having the facility to narrow and expand with the facility of uh, muscles associated with it okay the aperture will this is also there in our digital camera there is something called an aperture that will if the area or the surrounding or the environment is having lot of uh, light sunlight it will make us a small diameter a small circle or more small hole in which less light will be entering into the computer screen, computer camera and uh, digital camera then if there is dim light it 
it is widely open and we can have the provision to get more light from the surrounding into camera so that is one of the important thing a camera aperture will do for you based on the light it will expand or narrow okay that is one of the important thing and nowadays we will be having that uh, camera with auto adjustment properties so the oh, more light is coming it will be narrowing automatically earlier it was not like that we need to provide exact amount of light in order to make a good quality image then aperture is one of the important thing we need to how create a one of the cl good quality image then another thing is shutter speed the initial cameras okay we already know there will be a shutter in front of that camera in order to take a uh, camera or uh, in order to take a photo there will be a shutter that will be put on okay like that if you the shutter speed if the shutter is taking as a maximum speed it will get more amount of quality like that longer time leads to more light need to be in there like that will be there and this is one of the type of a cam uh, initial digital cameras it's not about slr or dslr these are the digital cameras at that time used and most of the time 2000 and other period people use this kind of camera cab not that much high quality and all output will be generated again it was used normally for a long period digital cameras are widely available at that time not last 10 it was actually last 20 years period after this evolution of digital camera the films and creating a physical film and that will damage for, for a period of time if that physical film okay, we know there are a lot of film movies and all shoot in a film but after a long period of time several damage or after without a physical damage is required we don't need a physical damage to make some modification there are some physical elements like physical ultra voltages additional voltage sensitive material that will automatically erase from the film okay those kind of properties make it as a disadvantage for the photography and all we know our families will be having lot of albums and all fathers and mother wedding album will be having some now we look into that the image will be in a blurred condition we cannot understand or differentiate between who is present in that book okay like that we will be not be having the clear idea now we will be having good quality output and printing sources and all in which it will be available for a long period of time without any damage and all we are physically protecting it in a album and all it will not damage or it will not remove content from that automatically remove the uh, light uh, if the some physical contact is happened or and all it will not be modifying the content that kind of printing quality is available in printers and all to support the digital photography and all and, and these are the one, most components these are the common parts of a digital camera dsl uh, slr camera you know the dsl camera this is slr camera so first one is the lcd display in which the image will be formed okay not stored it will just form an image that time we can see okay it will load when you look after capturing that so source okay the image will be formed but that in that display we can view what we are shooting okay actually it is not stored in lcd display it is just for viewing like a screen when you play a movie we can see in a computer monitor okay like that whenever you capture something it will be available for a period of time in a lcd display then it will be stored into a, a storage unit and that is there are some associated memory for storing information then one of the important thing is sensors that will capture light okay 
these are the very important thing there are sensors to store lights information into voltages voltage actually sensors will not store these sensors are storing information not in form of light there is something uh, some conversion happened and that conversion will be in the form of voltages or electrons okay the charges are stored in the sensors and okay then other part is called battery that will charge our the working the, that will provide the power for working the computer uh, com digital camera then there is something called flash okay you know to, that flashlight will be there you know to make we already know the what is the importance of flash okay so get proper light for the surroundings so or in which we need to capture if there is not a, enough light to capture okay light source is available you know we need some amount of light to get a image called clear and all, so that we can get quality image so that there is a flash light associated with it it is auto lighting properties are there nowadays we don't need to make a flash button or like that to automatically whenever you capture a surrounding it will based on the required amount of uh, light okay it will automatically put that amount of light it will not increase or decrease that is already mentioned okay that is automatic that's why it is called automatic type of camera the digital cameras are all automatic nowadays then it is there is called shutters okay we don't know if you inside this uh, computer if there are some speed in order to get a clear image we need to move that shutter these shutters are moving in a faster manner okay there are several shutters that will speed in a 30 frames per second and all more in a, within a second there will be 30 times a shutter will move in order to capture more light will be coming and there is shutter coming then again light will come then that will be in intervals of period of time that will be captured light is coming into computer then there are lenses okay when we can identify the lens will be having a millimeter size okay there will be having if a dslr camera comes with 128 millimeter lens okay that size of the lens actually matters the how much quality okay the information is getting into computer uh, detail camera the information the, the light is currently capturing from the surrounding and the lens will properly take the how much millimeter of that is also a deciding factor of quality then this will be the look if you are you able to see this screen are you able to identify the written things etc the ip if you find out prism the labels that is present in the screen sensors shutters just i want transition right so from current slide okay okay so i think now it is visible okay so this is the inside looking working of a camera it is not in a own position it is just this camera dslr camera whenever it is not clicked okay at the time the first the light path the object from the object light will be coming and this uh, beam beam or ray of light is coming across the lens this is first this is there are some aperture and all lens fly elements are there that why the this a millimeter of cam at least it will be some 24 millimeter lens elements are there that why this projection in front of that camera and we can focus there will be a possibility of rotation within the that scope aperture beside the upper aperture actually some sometimes it will be automatic or nowadays we can have that aperture automatic aperture fixing camera but now most of the time dslr and slr will be having that option okay to rotate and make arrangement or aperture increase or decrease okay that why we are rotating the camera how much light will be coming okay making that why we are rotating actually then there will be 
that uh, light beam comes into the mirror. If our computer camera is on, this mirror will be down position. Now it is uh, down position is off, so it is in this session that it will be reflected to. This will get reflected and there will be a prism associated with that. That prism will navigate it to the eyepiece. Okay, viewfinder. Whenever you look, that light will be there. After whenever you click, that clicking will turn down this mirror and that light light ray will hitting the sensor. Okay, the sensor will get the light and that sensor will store that light as the voltages. And this sensor store the light and that will be in the voltage form and if the charge form that will be converted to that will actually that is an analog form that will be converted to digital form using other circuitries and that is stored in our computer actually okay so actually this uh, sensor is uh, actually like this Actually, we are getting in contact with a CCD sensor, charged coupled sensor devices. Actually, we are using that in cameras and uh, scanning, etc. Okay, in order to store this information light into voltages. Okay, so in order that will take that in, in that manner, the voltage will be stored in that sensors. These are type of sensors. So, okay, sensors or chips that will store voltages. Okay. And actually this, actually this will store in voltages, electronic component. And here we can find the electrons are getting stored, the photons, when the photons or photons mean light, okay, light energy, the energy, the amount of energy, in, it's a unit of energy, light energy is called photon, photon groups are there, whenever it is coming into contact with a sensor that will convert it into voltages that voltage means electrons okay charge actually charge is nothing but electrons the electrons are getting loaded into a sensor bucket we can say it as a bucket structure that will be stored into bucket structure and each uh, each minute data is stored as pixels we already know so how much pixels clarity there are more pixels associated with the okay we can say like that okay the camera with uh, this much pixel size, okay, resolution that provides and old will be having how much uh, dots per inch info information, okay, how much pixel can store in that pixel corresponding bit that will decide uh, also quality matrix, okay. And more about CCD sensors, CCD sensors are a group of sensors, each sensor will be stored, the each element, the voltage are stored actually inside of this will be small small capacitors that will store small charges the electronically we can okay so small minute components are there a sensor is nothing but there are a lot of capacitors or integrated together and each capacitor can hold a single bit of information not actually bit it, can, it will be voltage a small bit and that uh, voltage can be stored into a pixel if, if that pixel is 24 bit or 32 bit like that it will tell about the possibility of color combinations we already know that i think 8 bit color depth or 24 bit color depth how much color depth a pixel can accommodate okay if there is 24 bit per pixel we can have 22 power 24 colors for that image if more color combination are available then our image will become more detail okay it will provide more detailed information regarding that image that will also make it as a high quality image the resolution of that image also decides okay a camera will be having ultra hd quality cameras or high definition camera will be having high quality high resolution okay and also it will be having another matter how much amount of uh, pixels dpa dots per inch okay so matrix these are all the important things and also this uh, pixel element or pixels are stored as a small we can say a image will be formed in this area will be how this is having a small rectangular shape and information in dark okay darker means more intensity more uh, without the, the actually here it is not 
actually the absence of color or like that we in order to represent a dark color okay not black color it is a uh, intensity high intensity color we are representing here so it is having maximum intensity you know to represent maximum intensity it is in the columns actually the image will look like this okay this shape but in order to represent that in a detailed form there will be small components of picture elements in your computer screen or in your camera lcds that will store each pixel the small boxes are called pixels there will be like how many resolutions are there what is the size of the computer image okay is it 1020 into 960 or 1024 deciding on that row and column i think this will be learned in your computer graph is that why i am not going in depth okay the resolution a pixel size number of bits per pixel and the computer graphics course will be there this semester or na ningal computer graphics padichavar alle last sem a last sem computer graphics naan padichavalla vera oru computer graphics undallo namakku lcd display kurichu padipikunnathu Uh, computer graphics uh, with the algorithms uh, line drawing algorithms okay padikkunnu undallo anuprabha miss aayikana eduthu anuprabha eduthittilla kazhinjilla ningalku ee semil undo adu adutha sem aanu oh adutha semil aanu okay 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 anyway they will have a detail explanation about that in that time okay actually it will be like this uh, the the important factors that associated with the image quality is actually the color depth of that image then the resolution matter then dot per inch okay in a particular inch size how many pixels are there more pixels okay like resolution if there are more maximum resolution it will be a good quality image then how much information per unit inch okay how much pixels can be accommodated in that the size of the small minute details are there then small pixels will be very much important but uh, the problem is when you increase the number of pixels per inch it will take too much space to store information now it is not a problem space is not a problem terabyte or lot of storage are available in drive with and clouds will be having lot of information repositories are there storing and all we are not mattering with space you know from some, some situation like bandwidth and all okay, low bandwidth and all now we are having la- that provision also 5g and all will be having broadband connectivity so that will not uh, also a problem a good quality image will have some 1mb for a small res- good resolution image hd image for small image okay to like that that will be there and video and all will be having lot of size and there are lot of compression and techniques available okay tools are available to reduce size and all and this is also okay this is also the reading of pixels and all i think we don't want that actually because our, our focus is on the hardware part what are the components in a camera and all okay i will okay just a minute i will come back yes uh, hello okay 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 that i think uh, okay with this we, we can have the some of the clear idea then uh, the what process a computer digital camera will work okay compression this is compression there is a compression that is automatically happening in a, or whenever you load a computer camera with capture an image there are compressions associated with a 
camera okay what which uh, if it, there is a kodak camera you are using there are some specialized compression that kodak already <coughs> with the, their inflation that is provided in their chip okay they automatic convert it into default version default formats and they will automatically have some compression so actually that is compressed so in order to take a photo and it is stored in a detailed format actually happening that process is whenever that light source come into your computer camera that there is something an aperture you are making a light source to come into okay that will based on the aperture you are setting and then it will come into the lens it is a, that is a uh, high quality lens okay lens will be having lot of uh, high now dsl camera will be having low, large length image okay you can there are 120 millimeter that that is in millimeter the lens size is in measured in millimeter and you can find that label in any camera you are of choosing if you are having a camera you will be knowing that in top of that lens you can fix that lens or you can remove that lens and take another lens okay you have the provision for that adding more, more lens okay larger lens to cost cost you more actually so there are labels that will mention the the lens size okay 128 or 48 mm or any mm of millimeter of length of lenses will be available based on the size it will make you much heavy in price okay so we'll be having a label in here actually in this area this lens top of that will be having a label to tell you about the and one of the another thing uh, what type of sensors are used in color sensors are there there will be separate sensor for rgb okay in all black and white or something like that you'll be having only one sensor and if there is three colors actually the primary color combination will form a color image so red blue green the primary color for a very primary color there will be a separate ccd sensor and it will only take that whenever a light sense the blue color will be stored in that information the the voltage representing intensity is corresponding to that blue light associated in that image uh, light will be stored in that only that ccd only like that it will be stored and there is something on a board or circuitry that will convert adc analog to digital converter that will convert the voltage into digital and stored into your computer and whenever you want to see it back it will be converted back okay there will be having provision in a computer screen and all there will be having provision to unlock digital digital converter and digital to unlock computer <laughs> convert it sorry yeah okay then we just quickly moved into different type of uh, things i i didn't cover cover all those things but just give some idea about the working of a digital cam digital camera this is not an deeply i did cover but you will get some important idea about that anyway we can if the next class we can sometime we can just give much more idea about this and we'll be also planning for Com working of computers and actually this these two are related to light flatbed scanners and all okay this is similar to that there will be a ccd sensor there will be a unlock to digital uh, converter etc will be there the working principles are somewhat uh, same okay and the basic idea is there is the light will be traveling from one place to another place in order to grab the entire document the document if there is a paper that from the a uh, top of the paper it will the light source will moving to the bottom of the paper and there is some motors and all to rotate and move to that light source moves go for vertically down so that, that will be there so some internal component will be different some there are some component that are common for camera digital camera and this can it flat but can it etc see what these these are all working under light light will be as used as the ray okay b of b and reflection of that light and a lot of optical materials are there 
okay then we can i think we can wind up this uh, already take some more time okay if you have any doubt related to this you can ask now yeah, about anything you are curious about asking okay getting more information i just i i know i, I took it as a faster way yeah but i think we don't need the as in this computer hardware course we don't go in depth of the in depth working just know about the components what are the components the, the internal components just aperture lens ccds okay these are the components that, that we, we need to familiarize that components also and some how they are involved in that working okay that's only we need in our course actually so actually we need to cover a lot of this type of components i in this i took these two you can find out the working of all other good devices if you are interested and you can make more okay research on it yeah like i said in lot of uh, technology improvement will be coming over a period of time within 5 year or 10 year lot of technology change will be happening in digital cameras also there will be lot of ai terms so ai techniques can be modified there will be robot built robotic camera that will be move, that will be there in land rovers or rovers that is going through space and all there are lot of provision lot of storage information is required and there are lot of capabilities that we need to improve on camera also there are the sensors if you want to capture the sun sun atmosphere okay whenever a some type of a mission is targeting to find out the some uh, some the spatial craft spacecraft and all you know to have some type of uh, camera in build in that spacecraft or rovers okay robot okay we need to have that kind of uh, stuff or that kind of uh, cameras available in that mich missionary we know to build that there are a lot of research going on how to make a uh, camera that will not affect with physical damages like that lot of uh, application will be there in that also so actually cameras are used for getting what we are as a human we, we are not able to grab okay that's the actual importance of camera like no, not actually for just recording a session that we can see because our human being okay as a human being uh, we have the the very high, high quality camera installed in our head right that is our eye we we cannot we cannot match it with any other camera any other high quality camera we have the god's gift that is available so what we make use of camera is we what we cannot reach okay where we cannot reach as a human being and if, if that camera as a detail uh, thing or robot if that can be moved into that area and capture the something useful for and getting some information okay hide hidden information from that and we can identify something from that if uh, that is there that is a very much important thing that will be the challenging thing in some after some years of okay from 5 5 or 10 years that will be the type of cameras available some camera will be taking images of sun directly within a uh, 5 meter away from camera uh, sun okay actually that temperature in that 5 uh, cm away from we can assume how much temperature how can we make a robot camera robotic camera like there will be a lot of research going also there okay anyway we will be moving yeah, we can wind up uh, if you have any no no further query we can find up and also i am remembering all those things assignment will be there you have to submit on time before uh next class and we'll be having some uh, something i given to some people don't forget that okay uh, upload that also with your assignments yes sir yeah okay fine with that we can wind up so next week we have class right not a holiday right many classes will be missing with this holiday yeah 9 15th next class will be on 15th okay we'll be having a class okay right okay then bye
Thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you. Okay, sir. Yeah, yeah.